I'm here at the top of Bear Basin and we've got about five feet of snow on the ground. And this time of year, we're seeing a lot of variability and a lot of changes. The snowpack is changing daily. Right now we've got new snow, a few inches of new snow from last night. If it gets warm and the sun comes out, which it's starting to do here, our number one problem is gonna be loose snow avalanches right here. If it stays warm and we don't get freezing temperatures at night, we're gonna to start to see this big thick crust underneath that start to break down and we'll get bigger wet slides. Now if it gets colder and it starts to snow again, our concern is just gonna be how is the snow sitting on top of this, uh, on top of this ice crust. Yesterday, on the north face of Beehive Peak, some skiers triggered a wind slab uh, on this crust. And so we're definitely concerned about if we do get new snow, that's gonna be uh, one of the main problems. But what, what's happening with the snow is it's less, the stability is less about um, loading than it is about the changing structure. Because all the warm weather we've been having in the spring here, we're, we're, we're seeing a breakdown of all these layers and we have moist snow the whole way down to the ground. In fact, down near the ground, um, we're actually seeing some wet grains. And so as the snow structure changes, the stability is gonna change with it. And we were able to get uh, an extended column test to break down here uh, on kind of wet, bigger facets near the ground. And I anticipate as the spring rolls forward, we're gonna see more weaknesses down there as the snow structure changes.